was at such a point that, you know, anything could have happened. Chris Milhouse is a former EMS worker and was just three cars behind this school bus crash Monday morning when he got out of his car and ran to help. So my first thought was getting the children because I saw a bunch of diesel fuel and fluids leaking from under there and I didn't know if there was going to be a spark. The skid marks are still along Industrial Drive where the crash happened just after 7 Monday morning. The coroner says 45 year old John Ratcliffe died at the scene. Police say the motorcycle he was riding got pinned in between a van and the back of a school bus. The way he was, he was uh, actually inverted, and so I had both of his hands there. I checked both of his, his on his wrist for his radio for pulse, and I checked his distal, which is in the top of his ankle for pulse, and I didn't get a pulse either way, and he was DOA. Uh, when, and I told the responding officers that he was DOA. According to the Lexington police, when the bus stopped, the 20 year old driver of the van, Giovanni Jimenez, didn't appear to see the vehicle slowing down in front of him and crashed into the motorcycle, sending it into the back of the bus. Milhas says people move fast on that road. It's just they need to do something with the, the traffic signals and start widening the roads around here because this is a busy area for people going to work in the mornings. Everybody's in a bad mood in the mornings. Everybody wants to hurry up and get to work. Everybody's looking at their cell phones and not paying attention, and you have what you got here this morning. Out on the bus suffered a cut arm and was brought to the hospital. Jimenez is facing several charges, including driving without a license. In Lexington County, Misharia Adams, Watchbox News, local first. Stay up to date with this story and more. Subscribe to our Watch Fox YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to never miss an update.